The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples a parable. Can a blind person guide a blind person? Will not both fall into a pit? No disciple is superior to the teacher. But when fully trained, every disciple will be like his teacher. Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye, but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own? How can you say to your brother, Brother, let me remove that splinter in your eye, when you do not even notice the wooden beam in your own eye? You hypocrite! Remove the wooden beam from your eye first, then you will see clearly to remove the splinter in your brother's eye. A good tree does not bear rotten fruit, nor does a rotten tree bear good fruit. For every tree is known by its own fruit. For people do not pick figs from torn bushes, nor do they gather grapes from brambles. A good person, out of the store of goodness in his heart, produces good. But an evil person, out of a store of evil, produces evil. For from the fullness of the heart, the mouth speaks. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. How do you often experience that the truth hurts? If it is not very often, then I would advise you try to look what is your definition of the truth. Because even when you hear that the truth hurts, if you do not experience it, Maybe you are only holding one half of the truth. I remember a beautiful girl who told me, Father, I have found the man of my dreams. How long have you known him? Oh, I have known him for five weeks. Wow. You try to look closer. Because the man of your dreams might become the man of your nightmare, which is also a dream. It is there that we gradually clarify whom we idolize. Because you can be blinded by love. And for those who are in love, the truth hurts. Maybe you are so concentrated that you cannot understand the total picture. Why am I telling this to you? That gospel that we have heard, I believe, is a preparation for the Lenten season. Because in Lent, we do not only look at the suffering of Jesus. We also look at the things that make us suffer. 
And when you look at the things that make us suffer, the truth hurts. Somebody asked me, Father, whom will you vote for? My answer, are you asking me as a priest? Or are you asking me as a master's in political economics? Because the reasoning will be different. I refuse to answer because you may not be prepared for the bitter truth. The truth is not one item. The truth is like ganchillo, crocheting. Ganchillo starts from one thread. But from one thread, you develop a pattern. The truth is not one string. The truth is a pattern. That is why the gospel recommends open your eyes. Investigate your idol. Investigate whom you follow because the truth hurts that there is no such thing as the man of my dreams when the dreams are not rooted on earth. Because you love, you love even complete reality. Your mother is very ugly. But your mother knows how to caress the heart. Well, thank you very much. At least that man found perfect love, suitable to his situation. But for Jesus Christ, even the poorest sinner can see the light if he is looking at the right light. They say, we cannot understand some products because we kept on looking at the packaging of the products. We look at the container, but not the content. That is why they say, Father, please do not buy C2 iced tea. Why? It's more sugar than tea. But it looks very refreshing. Yes, it looks very refreshing, but it is not a healthy drink. Maybe I am also a victim of looking at the container, but not the content. Jesus is inviting us. Remove the beam from your eye so that you can share the complete reality. But do not feel disappointed if you have offered the complete reality and nobody is willing to accept it. As my father would used to say to us, it is easier to believe in propaganda than on facts. The simplest propaganda is advertisement. That is why when I ask my father, can you buy me that toy? My father will say, Naku, ang anak ko, biktima ng propaganda. Kasi, Looking back, I was asking my father to buy me a canister of foam that was the favorite toy when I was in grade four. And my father said, Bibili ka ng bula? Gagawa na lang tayo. 
that is when I understood I buy because my friends are buying. It is there that I have to remove the beam from my mind and from my priorities. My dear brothers and sisters, Lent is not only a time to go back to the suffering of Jesus. Lent is also the time to gradually discover why are we worth saving. It is there that you understand God can be more generous than what we think about Him. Because it is there. When you think that your thumbprint has no duplicate in the entire world, even babies, they have their footprints in their hospital records. Baka magkapalit ng baby sa nursery eh, yun ang babalikan. Even your tongue, it has no duplicate. God knows you personally even when there are billions of people because He wanted to be known as a personal God, not the God of the multitudes. God who is one of us. When we think that we have idols, our favorite choices in life, you try to think, is my idol blinding me? Do I investigate how others think? Because dialogue can only happen when people are willing to listen even if they disagree. That is why you try to start with your family. How do you reason out with your brightest child? How do you reason out with your dullest child? It is there that even when there is no meeting of minds, there can be a meeting of hearts. Because when we try to look, our favorite professors, they will tell us, how will you continue when we are no longer around to guide you? Very true. I will be celebrating my 25th year in the priesthood next year. But what is important, I try to go back to my notebooks. I try to look, have I preserved this orientation? When I discovered that even when the orientation is hard, I am willing to live by it. That is bearing fruit. It is not only your idol who will bear fruit. Your idol will bear fruit in you. Kaya pag sinabing, type na type ko kasi ang talino, nagiging matalino ka ba? Because you admire him. Type na type ko kasi guwapo. Ikaw, baka hindi ka guwapo, pero guwapo ba ang reputasyon mo? You try to look wider. Kaya nga, yun sinasabi sa gospel, He, if He cannot equal the teacher, He can be like the teacher. It is well, we develop our line of reasoning and make it into a personal expression of self. Bilang preparation, 
sa 25 years in the priesthood, binabalikan ko ngayon yung isa namin profesor sa Tagaytay, Father Ateliano Corcuera, SBD Liturgies. I try to find out how have I lived with the person who traveled with me as a seminarian. He told me, Gabi, your idea about God is very theological. That is the tribute you have given to your professors. But we have told you even when you were younger, if you can follow a God who loves, can you follow, not only follow, can you accompany a God who is a mystery? Kasi kahit ano daw daming paliwanag, ang Diyos ay mananatiling misteryo. Sometimes there are no ready answer. So I told Father Corks, ang hirap na nga maging follower ni Jesus, ang hirap lalong maging companion of a mystery. Gabi, that is what you will work on for the next 25 years. To live with the mystery. And living with the mystery is to remove the blindness that prevents us from appreciating a mystery. Kaya pag galit na galit ako sa isang tao, oy, wag ninyong iisipin hindi maaring magalit si Father Gabi. Pwede rin akong sumiklab. Nasasabi ko na lang sa sarili ko, Ay! Salamat. Hindi ako ang Panginoon Diyos. Kasi kung ako ang Diyos, tagal ko nang ginunaw ang mundo. We try to develop a wider view of life. Because when you are just contented with life as it is, it may be very hard to maintain faith. Because the moment the basis for faith is lost, then you will just say that life is unfair. May we learn not only to follow a demanding God, may we learn to love a mysterious God. We hope that as we enter Lent this coming Wednesday, we may discover what is the love that allowed Him to sacrifice? What is the love that shows that the truth is beautiful even when it hurts? How do we understand Jesus, the idol who is willing to suffer so that we can understand suffering. May we continually remove the blindness that separates us from one another and from God. May we discover life is still beautiful even when there are so many ugly things existing. We hope that life is not only a proclamation of happy gospel, may it be a proclamation of a saving gospel even when the gospel hurts. Amen.